Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jill Nicolini, your host for Convention TV. The second day of NAM is officially underway, and we'll be bringing you all the top stories from this year's show, plus in-depth discussions of the new major topics facing the MI industry. I'm joined once again by Hester Van Hooven, who will be reporting in from the show floor. Hey, Hester. It's great to be back, Jill. We are ready for another action-packed day here on the show floor. There's so much to see. There are so many people to talk to. I'm sure we'll have lots of stories to cover, so I'll be checking in throughout the day. Yes, I'm looking forward to it, Hester. On yesterday's broadcast, we announced the winners of the 34th Annual Music and Sound Awards. These awards recognize the year's best products as chosen by MI retailers. Brian Burke, editor of the music and sound retailer, caught up with some of the winners to get their reactions. I'm here with J3 and Suzanne D'Addario Bruder of D'Addario. We've won two more awards this year. Let's start with best strings for D'Addario XT. Great seller for you guys. Thank you, Brian. Um, yeah, it's uh, XT is a culmination of years of research that our team has put into uh, different types of coatings for strings. Um, we're really proud of this uh, honor and proud of the line of strings uh, of XT. Uh, we do have a lot more uh, ideas coming in the near future. Uh, for now, let's celebrate XT, and it's an honor to be uh, recognized. Okay, and Suzanne, uh, I guess they say a lucky seven. Let's, let's go with that. Uh, seven years in a row, you won the Outstanding Community Service Award for the Didero Foundation. So tell me what you've been doing and what you're going to continue continue to do that people are so excited about and keep voting for you. Thanks so much, Brian. I, it's an honor uh, to be recognized for the work we're doing. And listen, we're just going to continue to work as hard as we can to bring as much access to music, get kids playing music as often and as frequently as possible. And um, you know, that's our goal, and to continually expand what we do. So we really appreciate being recognized for that. All right. So for anyone who's a sports fan, they know that back-to-back -back champion is a really hard thing to do. But we have a back-to-back -back champion in our rep of the year. It's Jeremy Payne from the Music People. Congratulations. Here you go. Thank you very much. I'm yeah, so yeah. flattered. Uh, thanks, everybody, who voted for me. Uh, I, last year, I kind of felt speechless, and this year, I just kind of feel like dancing a little bit or something like that. I'm so excited, and uh, I'm going to do better for you next year. Okay, I'm here with Andy Powers, partner at Taylor Guitars, and uh, here to present the uh, product of the year for the Grand Pacific. Well, Go Andy, congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate that. This is a real honor to be uh, the recipient of this. When, last year when we had launched our uh, Builders Edition Grand Pacific guitar, it was a really exciting addition to our line because it felt like new sonic direction for us as a company. You know, one of the things that excites me is to be to be able to build instruments that fit a lot of different musicians and contribute to their music making. You know, so this is, um, to be awarded with this, it's a real honor and a real thrill for us at Taylor Guitars. So thank you very much. Thank you for the dealers who vote on this. It's no greater honor than to present the Lifetime Achievement Award. I got a great recipient this year, Larry Morton and Hal Leonard. Congratulations, what an honor. Uh, thank you so much, Brian. I am thrilled about this. I want to thank all of the readers and Music Sound Retailer for supporting me, not only for this award, but just for my entire 35 years in this incredible, wonderful business. And I also feel honored to follow Mr. Kakahashi, last year's winner, who was a great mentor of mine. Like everyone else, I just feel lucky to have spent my life working in an industry that makes the world a better place and something that's fun and you get up every day and look forward to it. So I'm really honored by this and I want to thank everyone involved. Congratulations to all the Music and Sound Award winners. Again, these awards are voted on solely by the retailers, so when you win, it is truly well-deserved. Remember, you can check out the complete list of winners at msretailer.com or at booth 10318. And speaking of Music and Sound Award winners, it wouldn't be a NAMM show without Fender, who took home three Music and Sound Awards this year, including Manufacturer of the Year. So let's see what's going on at the Fender booth. Ed McGee, Justin Norville, and Fender. For uh, first, we have Manufacturer of the Year, which is fantastic, mm -hmm. and we have Best Bass Guitar, 2019, for the Intero uh, 50s uh, Precision Bass. So, uh, first, tell me about the honor of uh, Manufacturer of the Year, Ed. Yeah, this is absolutely humbling. Uh, you know, the Fender's mission is serving players at every stage. We've got uh, about 2,000 employees all over the world who are very much focused on making the great products that Justin and the team come up with. And, you know, to get this recognition is absolutely humbling and fabulous. And Justin, best bass guitar? 
You know, Fender is, you know, famous for popularizing the electric bass. Quincy Jones once said that life would be not the same without the electric bass. And we're just happy that this product has resonated with the market, with the dealers, and really just thank this, the retailer for uh, recognizing us for this. Thank you so much. So tell me what's going on. There's always something great at the, uh, the Fender booth at the show. So what can we see here? Well, what's going to be happening? Well, I mean, the main thing is the Acoustasonic Stratocaster that we've got, which is one of our new launches, but really Fender's all about past, present, and future. So recognizing the past, we've got the anniversary Esquires and Broadcasters, which are 70 years old that we're celebrating. We've also got our Ultra Series. We've got our new GTX Digital Amps, Tone Master, our new Tone app. So it really, we're covering all of the bases. Nothing but a guitar to say, here's who I am, Mr. Les Paul. And I would like to present this to Sting. I always wanted to have a Les Paul. I never imagined that he would give me one himself. <laughs> this is a real award. T-Bone is the last connection to all the golden inspiration that led me to this room tonight. If it wasn't for Les, we'd probably all be playing acoustic guitars, you know, in mono. How many Les Pauls do you have to destroy to win the Les Paul Award? deserve not just a seat at the table, but that first chair. There's always a door that will open, so just walk in and see what's on the other side. Now we have groups like Bass Nectar going out there. What fascinates them is more environmentally complex things. continued growth of the DJ market, we wanted to give this product segment the coverage it deserves. So we called in the experts at our sister publication, DJ Times, America's longest running magazine for professional DJs. Here's DJ Times editor Jim Tremaine for more DJ market news. Hi, we're here with Justin DeLay of the online marketplace Reverb. We want to talk a little bit about uh, DJ systems and controllers uh, at the NAMM show 2020. So. In the reverb world, what is the state of the DJ market in terms of controllers and uh, software? What are you moving a lot of? Sure. Well, I mean, we continue to see the all-in-one systems growing in popularity, you know, especially when you get into the, kind of that medium format size, maybe like one step up from an entry level. That seems to be that kind of like backpack or small back uh, size. You know, it's, it's Denon, it's Pioneer. Um, I think the Roland products they've done recently with some of the integration is pretty interesting, but, um, you know, continues to be jog wheels um, and just the continued growth in the direction of, of USB keys, I think, um, um, streaming has been a big part of that as well. Um, and I think this year Denon's got some really exciting new stuff coming out that uh, we'll be excited to see as well. Right, and so you're seeing a big uh, stratification of the market in terms of entry level, middle guy, and a guy who maybe aspires to bigger things like uh, the festival. You have a very, very broad customer base. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, what's fun for me is you can really see a new buyer enter the DJ category and because uh, some of these companies have now put out products that really are better than they were a couple years ago. You know, you're starting to see more quality. It's an entry point, and then like anything else, you know, as you get more into this stuff, you want to upgrade, you want to upgrade. And so I think as the segment has grown, the product lines have filled out. So you kind of have that kind of entry level medium um, and, you know, large format in a way that maybe you wouldn't have had in the past couple of years. You know, you kind of had the pro level, but then there was a pretty big gap. So I think that's really exciting for the market and just gives more people a chance to get involved. 
And pop culture has changed so much since when we were little kids, that's for sure. Um, electronic music has really uh, taken over the pop marketplace and the youth culture. You're seeing that with your customers as well, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, we definitely see, you know, I mean, we see a whole wide mix of things, but, um, you know, we're definitely seeing the trend, especially among the younger demographics, towards more electronic instruments, electronic music making the whole spectrum from DJing all the way through into production and studio gear as well. We're here again with Randy White of Chuck Levin's Washington Music Center in Wheaton, Maryland. So tell me, Randy, what's hot in uh, the DJ segment of the market? You know, we're starting to see the combination of different multi formats per se. You'll have a controller like the brand new Pioneer controller that will let you do, um, you know, their engine software, record box, Serato, all in one unit. So you can use a thumb drive, you can use external hard drives, you can use your computer. Um, you were seeing at the show a brand new Denon piece, new Prime 2, that will use an internal hard drive, a thumb drive. Wi-Fi streaming, so you're getting multi-formatted units. Um, the price is coming down, the performance is going up, and um, you know there's some manufacturers really focused on bringing the best product to the market. How much do you think streaming is going to impact uh, hardware uh, in the next couple of years for DJs? I mean, we're going to see more and more of it, you know, because of it gives you more music accessibility. I'm not sure as a DJ for the last 30 years that I want to have my library or you know my show locked in on a Wi-Fi that could drop out so we'll see how that's gonna work with it but I think there's you know if, if a bride comes up and wants a specific song to be able to stream it and play it and do something on the spot I think is kind of exciting and finally Randy how do you see the future of uh, the DJ is that something that is going to be a strong part of your customer base moving forward it's still a growing part of it and it's becoming more diversified. So you're getting in younger um, DJs coming in and instead of just where they're, they're coming in our store, which we do a ton of musical instrument rentals, they're also coming in and they're being a DJ also at the same time. They're going to local DJ schools, uh, they're learning production, they're taking, so they're, le they're learning music in a different aspect. The NAM show doesn't end when the show floor closes. With a number of NAM at night events, there's always another electric experience just around the corner. Download the NAM show's mobile app for the latest schedule and locations for concerts and special events. Now let's check in with Hester, who's down on the show floor. How's it going, Hester? I'm here with David Heppel. So at Oasis Humidifiers, you all are experts in instrument humidification. David, what is new in the company this year? Well, where we're uh, going is we've got an endorsement now from Taylor Guitars, the largest manufacturer of guitars in the United States. And they have uh, approved us for, for use with their guitars. It's a wonderful, and we have a wonderful products that go across from ukuleles to guitars, uh, to a variety of other instruments, all, all like violins and so forth. And the product is very, very cost effective. And if you live in any place where the humidity gets below 40%, you need a humidifier. Great. Now let's take a look at some products being demoed at this year's show. Chauvet DJ is showing off the Gig Bar Move. This 5-in-1 pack and go lighting system comes with a two 10-watt quad-colored LED moving heads. It also features washes, derbies, strobes, and laser dynamics, all on one bar. I'm here with Jeff Short, Chauvet DJ. So Jeff, tell me about the Gig Bar Move. The Gig Bar Move is the ultimate in convenience and versatility. It's an all-in-one lighting system, all-in-one bar, but the great thing about the Gig Bar Move is the addition of powerful moving heads. So now this pack and go lighting system has the ability to have separate color and gobo wheels, totem mode to keep the moving heads where you need them on the dance floor in front of you. It comes with a tripod, it comes with a wireless foot switch, comes with the bags to carry it all in. The ultimate in convenience and versatility for mobile entertainers. 2020 is an election year as we all know and with that in mind CF Martin has produced a special edition guitar aimed at encouraging young people to actively participate in our democracy. The D16E Rock the Vote Special Edition is crafted with satin finished sycamore back and sides for clear transparent overtones with a punchy response. It's sick of spruce gloss
gloss top provides balanced tone and projection, and it also includes a high-performance neck taper for ease of playability up and down the fretboard. And it comes equipped with, get this, the Fishman Matrix VT Enhance NT2 Electronics. I'm here with Chris Martin, CEO of CF Martin. We have this beautiful Rock the Vote guitar. So Chris, tell us a little bit more about your contribution to Rock the Vote. So I'm a bit of a political junkie, as is my wife. And it was about nine months ago, I read a, an article, it was an interview with David Crosby, and he talked in that article about the importance of getting out the vote, registering to vote, and that resonated with me. And my cousin Robert is a very talented graphic artist. Would you give us the right to use your image to try and promote amongst our fans, your fans, registering and voting? And he was like, absolutely, Chris. This is something I'm passionate about. We've, we've got an important election coming up. And so my good friend Craig Thatcher is going to play this guitar. The 2020 NAM Show now features an expanded suite of showcase environments, which serve as a community center and launchpad for new ideas and innovations. Be sure to visit every showcase located throughout the campus, including the Boutique Guitar Showcase, Entertainment Technology Showcase, Innovator Showcase, Loudspeaker System Showcase, Lounge 88 Showcase, Software and Synth Showcase. Download the NAM Show's mobile app to navigate to the locations of these showcases. Sophia Tremolos announces purchasing and reintroducing SoCal's Tysonics Vintage Titanium Guitar Hardware Company together under one roof. Big Kids Inc. Premium musical instrument hardware built and designed by musicians for everyone. All right, the music and sound retailer and its columnists are always working hard to cover the most important issues facing today's music retailers. With that in mind, Brian Burke met up with Kimberly Deverell and Robin Sassy to discuss some of the hottest topics in MI. Both of these ladies have their finger on the pulse of the industry because in addition to writing columns for the music and sound retailer, they also work in the retail trenches themselves. Let's see what they have to say. I'm here with Robin Sassy and Kimberly Darrell from San Diego Music Studio. Great to have you here. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, NAM here. We're here, it's a new decade, 2020. So what are you here to do and check out? What am I here not to do? I mean, I'm here to do everything. <laughs> I'm here to uh, see the new product, new innovations, uh, make new connections, meet new vendors, meet with old vendors, uh, of course, place orders and spend money, <laughs> uh, her money. <laughs> um, the education sessions, um, lots of, lots to do. Um, and then the nightlife is always fun as well, so. And um, also wanted to ask you about, you're the uh, NAM Music Makes a Difference Award winner. Congratulations, that's, that's, that's great. Um, and tell me about what you have done and what you're going to be doing to continue to make a difference. There you go, you take this one. Okay, I'll take this one. Uh, well, I just got back from the Philippines a couple weeks ago, as you know, and we have brought a bunch of ukuleles from donors and from vendors. And we're going to continue with that project, uh, connecting donors with people in the, uh, in the Philippines who need uh, anything. And we actually even have a box at the studio that we fill with clothes that people want to donate to people in the Philippines because there's been a lot of earthquakes. So we've been doing some outreach that way and we're continuing to teach. So the students that we have in the Philippines are continuing to learn and we're also recruiting teachers there. So we're teaching them how to teach the kids because I can't be there all the time. Hey, and, uh, no, lastly, I'll put you on the spot for a second. Um, tell me about the, the store, how um, things were in 2019 for you and how it's looking so far in 2020. Uh, 2019 was amazing. It was a phenomenal, year. Was a phenomenal year. I mean, not only uh, did we win all these awards, but things grew and changed at such a rapid pace. And I think I asked one of my employees, I said, do you remember, uh, what was it, the last time things changed? Or yeah. yeah, and he said, I cannot remember the last time things didn't change. So, and change is really the only constant we have here. 
and uh, we went ahead and we just revamped a whole lot of things. We got great product in, we've got great employees in, and we always have great customers in the store. You're watching Convention TV at NAM. This show is produced and written by the team behind the music and sound retailer, which offers the latest MI news and products, plus a tremendous roster of retail columnists. Look for a new Convention TV broadcast each day of the NAM show, available on demand 24 7 at msretailer.com, and stop by booth 10318 or the nearest pub bin to pick up a copy of the music and sound retailer. Now, NAM is known for making a lot of noise, and last year, NAM cranked up the volume even more with a new addition to the show, the Loudspeaker System Showcase. Hester is there now, and hopefully with some earplugs to check it all out. Hester, how's it going? You bet I've got some earplugs in. It's crazy loud in here. Some of the MI Industries top speaker companies have taken over the arena, and they're here to melt some faces and rattle some bones with their newest systems. I'm here with Luke Whipple of FBT. Luke, what are you demoing here at the Loudspeaker System Showcase? We are demoing the Muse 210 LAV with the My 218 SA subwoofer. We've also got the Horizon VHA system. It's a vertical horizontal array with the 406A for high end, the 112 SA for low frequency extension, and the VHA 118 SA subwoofer. Here at RCF, we're showing the new re-engineered HDL 54K, which is a new, new and improved large format active line array box that we've improved off the HDL 50. This box is a symmetrical in design, 212, 46, and 2, 3 inch high frequency uh, drivers. Underneath that, we have four 9007 Dual 21 active subs supporting it. So let's listen to RCF. Whichever way you go, I'll be easy to find. I don't ask for much, just be. Today we're actually showing off uh, some latest uh, Electro Voice speaker technology as well as our new digital amplifiers from Dynacore. So let's have a listen to the MFX15MC multifunctional monitor. Whichever way you go, I'll be easy to find. I don't ask for much. ProLight and Sound, NAM Russia, and NAM Musikmesse Russia provide a unique opportunity for exhibitors to expand their brand's global reach in the dynamic Russia and CIS market. For more information, visit the Musikmesse booth at Lobby D, booth number 33. In addition to great educational sessions, NAM has a ton of fun ways to let your hair down and network with your peers. One awesome event you might want to check out is the NAM Young Professionals Meetup at the NAM Idea Center in the Anaheim Convention Center lobby. Now it kicks off with a keynote speech by Fender's Justin Norvell at 4 p.m., followed by a little networking reception at 5 p.m. If you're a fan of live events, then you should check out the 19th annual Parnelli Awards, the Oscars of the live event industry. The show takes place tonight at 6 p.m. in the Anaheim Hilton Pacific Ballroom, Level 2. That's right, Hester. And also at 6, Yamaha will present what has been billed as NAM's premier event, the Yamaha All-Star Concert on the Grand 2020. Past performers have included such luminaries as Elton John, Stevie Wonder, Melissa Etheridge, Tony Bennett, John Legend, Earth, Wind & Fire, and some other amazing Yamaha artists. All NAM show attendees are welcome to check it out in the Grand Plaza right in front of the convention center. You definitely don't want to miss it. And speaking of can't miss events, there's another one that's become an annual highlight of the NAMM show scheduled for this evening. The She Rocks Awards show is ready to rock the House of Blues Anaheim tonight at 7.30 p.m. The celebration of women in the music industry is always an empowering, feel-good event with lots and lots of great performances. And tonight's honorees include Gloria Gaynor, Linda Perry, Lizzie Hale, and Susie Quattro. And MI industry honorees include Middle Sea music owner Myrna Silson, Daddario Suzanne, Dario Bruder and PRS guitars Judy Schaefer. And if you can't make She Rocks Awards tonight, make sure to check out Convention TV at NAM for coverage of the event. But wait, that's not all. We have a very special guest joining the Convention TV broadcast. I don't really want to ruin the surprise, so here it is. All right, Jill, there's no more special guest than I could get than Bernie Williams. He's the cover guy on our January issue of the Music and Sound Retailer, and he's also multi all-star and a great music advocate here at NAM. So tell me what you have though going on with NAM. You're really involved with a lot of things right now. 
Yeah, yeah, especially the, the NAM Association, you know, my uh, relationship with them has sort of grown in the last, you know, few years. I'm now part of the uh, board of directors of the NAM Foundation, so we get to allocate funds, you know, to a lot of worthy causes in the United States and sometimes internationally as well. Uh, here in the show, you know, it's always very exciting to see you know, all the, the people that I've seen in years and uh, people that I play with, people that, you know, are new friends, and also, obviously, all the gear that is here are so, you know, very exciting. And uh, doing the Capitol Hill, the, the, the fly-in, uh, advocating for music and arts uh, in public schools is uh, definitely one of the highlights of my year as well. And uh, a lot of things, you know, uh, raising awareness for uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is a disease that took my dad's life in 2001. And uh, playing with my own band and doing my old, you know, uh, ex-Yankee player thing, you know, I could never divorce from that, but it's always, always, always very exciting. You're going to be jamming, so uh, tell me about your performance you're going to be having on. Yeah, tonight I'm jamming with Gil Paris at, in, uh, in the Marriott uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a great band, Chris Clark, uh, Chris Clark uh, Jack Knight you know, from Samson, uh, Eric Pisa, uh, and uh, Joe Pidio is going to play drums from, from West, uh, Westchester, New York. So uh, it's going to be good, man. I encourage everybody to go and check us out. All right. I'll be there. Thank you, Bernie. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thanks so much to Bernie Williams for taking the time to talk with us. And we have another special treat for Bernie Williams fans. Make sure to check out the January issue of the Music and Sound Retailer, which features another exclusive interview with the music and sports superstar. You can pick up your copy at booth 10318 or, of course, read the interview online at msretailer.com. Stop by Oasis, booth 1807 in Hall E, and get two packs of our fluorocarbon GPX ukulele strings for the price of one. Okay, so during yesterday's broadcast, we discussed a bunch of companies that have recently celebrated some major milestones. And another huge name in the MI industry, Sennheiser I'm talking about, is celebrating, get this, 75 years in the business. Convention TV was there to rub some elbows at the company's party. Check it out. Happy anniversary to Sennheiser, and thank you all so much for coming. We're here to celebrate 75 years of innovation in the audio industry. And that wouldn't happen without all of you. Considering all the events going on tonight, you might be tempted to sleep in tomorrow. But if you're a morning person or just want to hear a fantastic speech that may transform your business, head over to the Anaheim Hilton Pacific Ballroom. That's at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Scott McCain will share the five key characteristics of iconic organizations and how you can make these concepts work for your business. If you'd rather get up a little later, NAM has another great event happening tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Bobby McFerrin and Give Me Five will be performing during the Grand Rally for Music Education in the Anaheim Hilton California Ballroom, Room C and D. And that does it for day two of our coverage of the 2020 NAMM show. To quote Bon Jovi, we're halfway there. Yeah, two broadcasts down in the books, but two more to go. And we'll be back tomorrow with even more from the MI industry's biggest annual event. And don't forget, you can check in with us on demand 24-7 at msretailer.com. Have a great night, folks. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Imagine a world with more music. Rhythms and melodies. That dare us to move. When our differences divide us. I want to create for beautiful moments. Music that inspires and fills the air with hope. I will mix frequencies that resonate. What I create will help me find my voice. Something powerful and strong. It won't be easy. It might seem impossible. But we will create anthems that unite us. Our music! can change the world.